Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we're going to look at the Warcry Slaves to Darkness card pack. Here we go, the Warcry Slaves to Darkness card pack. So for my birthday, my son chose the Slaves to Darkness Army starter pack from Age of Sigmar, and they look really cool. You get the Lord on the Karkadrak and the Chaos Knights, or some mounted, some not, um, and just a great set. So we thought we had to get the card pack and to see how we could use them in Warcry. So let's take a look. We opened them already, we couldn't wait. Here we go. So just like with all these card packs, you get the English and then you get all the different ability cards and fighter types in different languages. So we've put those to one side and these can be cut up. You can use them as bookmarks, things like that. So. And so we can see on here, we've got the Chaos Marauders, the Chaos Chosen, the Chaos Warriors and the Chaos Marauder Horsemen. So we were like disappointed because none of the ones we got in that starter set were actually included as the fighter types, but we could certainly replace these um, with the ones, the miniatures we've got and use the stats from the cards. So that's no problem. Um, I think you could even with these, you could even use like other sets, like we've got the Lord of the Rings Battle of Pelennor set. So we could even use miniatures from that and put together uh, a Warcry Warband. But obviously if you want to be true to the images on the cards and the pack then you can choose between the marauders the chosen the warriors and the marauder horsemen we get our two ability cards and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fighter type cards so that's nice you get a really nice selection there so that's everything we're going to get in the card pack Okay, so let's take a look at each of the fighter types. So here's the first one. So none of these are named, but we know it's a Chaos Marauder and he's got the, the kind of flail there. So for 55 points, this miniature is going to come with four movement, can take five damage with a toughness three. He's got a range of three with three attacks, three strength, dealing one to three on a crit. So for a 55 point, fighter that's about the norm um it's quite tough at 10 so with 10 damage points that's not bad but otherwise pretty normal there so that's our first one then we've got another chaos marauder and this one's at 60 points and he's got his pick with the shield or the small shield and we're going to get movement four same 10 damage but a little bit extra toughness because of that shield and he's got his pick range of one just two attacks i guess with the shield there he can only do two attacks but he's got a strength of three dealing one to three damage so let's have a look at that extra ability there oh and i should say this marauder also gets on a double the one ability which is imbued with dark power until the end of this fighter's activation, add the value of this ability to the strength characteristic of attack actions made by this fighter that have a range characteristic of three or less. So they both get that one. But our one with the pick and the small shield is going to get the shield ram, which on a double until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy fighter, Pick a visible enemy fighter within one inch of this fighter and roll a dice. On a four to five, allocate one damage point to that fighter. On a six, allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of this ability. So that's a cheeky ability for a 60 pointer there. You can either sneak away with an extra damage point in that round and just for a double, that's not bad. Or on a six, if he's got double sixes, he's going to deal quite a bit of damage really for a 60 point fighter so they're not bad at all so that's our two chaos marauders on foot and now we've got our chaos marauder horsemen here's our first one 
And so for 120 points, we got that extra movement being on the horseback of 10 and tw can take 20 damage, which is nice. Toughness three. And we've got the kind of chain weapon there. So it gives us that extra range. So we've got three range, can deal three attacks. Strength three, one to three on a crit. We've got the mounted rune mark there. So that means they can't climb, but they will get the ability that every one of the warband gets which is the double imbued with dark power so for 120 points you just get in a few extra damage and you can make some attacks but that range is good so you can really move around the battlefield a lot quicker and support your kind of um, characters on foot so that's our first chaos marauder horseman And we get another Chaos Marauder Horseman. This time, five extra points at 120. We're getting a little bit extra toughness there because of the shield, but the same 10 range and 20 damage. We've got an axe weapon, so this one's a range of one. Only two attacks. Strength three, dealing one to three. So we've got the extra uh, five points there. Um, not really getting an awful lot for it, except for the, the extra toughness. So just weigh up i guess how you play tactically which ones you choose and ability wise we're only going to get the imbued with dark power on a double and as a mounted rune mark here means they can't climb so that's our second chaos marauder horseman and now we have our third chaos marauder horseman um at 140 points but we're getting an extra ability which we'll check out in a minute we've got a shield so that's why you've got toughness four can take 20 damage with a range of 10. we've got a spear so that gives us a range of two two attacks three strength dealing one to four damage so we're getting a little bit extra damage here and we're getting the extra ability and the kind of range in between the chain weapon and the axe so let's see what that extra ability is Again, everyone gets the double, which is imbued with dark power. Mounted room marks who can't climb. And then the double on a throw javelin is their extra ability. And here they pick a visible enemy fighter within six inches of this fighter and roll a dice. On a three to four, allocate one damage of points to that fighter. On a five to six, allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of this ability. So quite similar to the shield ram, we're getting a little bonus here where we can deal an extra point of damage or on if you roll in high doubles, fives or sixes, you're going to be able to allocate a number of damage points to that fight equal to the value of the ability. So it could be quite good. And I think to get that extra ability for an extra 15 or 20 points, that's not bad at all. So that's our third Chaos Marauder Horseman there. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I messed up a little bit on these mounted fighters. So they each have the mounted rune mark on their cards, which gives them an extra ability. And here we go. So on a triple, they get the trampling hooves. And until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy fighter, Pick a visible enemy fighter within one inch of this fighter. Then allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of this ability. So this kind of transforms these, these fighters. That extra ability on a triple can do quite a bit of damage there. And if you're rolling fives and sixes, that's a really good ability to have. And so you can see these guys have already got a lot of, lot of damage points. They can do two to five on a crit, one to three, one to four, one to three. So that extra ability is well worth it. And sorry, I missed it out. Okay, now back to the video. And now we're on to our Chaos Marauder, who would be like the leader of the warband, I guess. So if you just went with Marauders, you could use this guy as your leader. And for 140 points, you'd certainly get a lot of other um, characters in the warband as well. And for 140 points, you're gonna get Movement of four can take 20 damage, quite low toughness of three. We've got the sword, so we're up close with a range of one. Four attacks, strength four, D4 
dealing two to five damage on a crit. So here we go. So this is quite good for dealing two to five. Not so tough. Um, and we get this extra ability, which we'll check out now. So he's going to come with the double impugned dark with power. And also as a leader on a triple, he's got champion of darkness. A fighter can use this ability only if an enemy fighter has been taken down by an attack action made by them this activation. This fighter makes a bonus move action, then they can make a bonus attack action. So pretty standard triple there for a leader. And as long as they take an enemy fighter down by, during their attack action, then um, they get that bonus. And whether they want to kind of move away or if they want to do another attack while they're there. So that's our leader, and he would be a Chaos Marauder. Right, so now we're moving on to the Chaos Chosen. And these guys are going to be tougher. Right away we can see they've got more armour, they look more menacing, and more like the Chaos we would imagine. And so starting at 145 points, we're going to get a movement of 4. 15 damage and yeah right up he's tough so he's got five and he's got the up close weapon so we've got a range of one can deal four attacks with strength four dealing two to four on a crit so certainly as he looks he's much like stronger and tougher can deal a bit more damage no extra abilities so this is almost like your entry level chaos chosen or chaos warrior um yeah so there he is and so he's going to just get the one ability, which is on a double imbued with dark power. So we've got another one, two, three chaos warriors, and then we're going to move on to another horseman and finally a chaos chosen. So let's look at the three different chaos warriors. And here's, uh, here's our second one anyway and at 170 points we've got a uh, range of four or movement of four sorry 15 damage very tough at six and he's got the shield and this huge shield so you can see why he's so tough um, up close weapon with a range of one dealing three attacks strength four two to four on a crit so for 170 points to get that extra shield ram ability uh, as well as the double imbued with power Seems quite high, but he's tough and his toughness is huge. So to inflict some damage on this guy is going to be pretty tricky. And if you're playing a couple of these, that's going to be pretty intimidating for the opponent. So that's our, our second Chaos Warrior. Now on to our third Chaos Warrior. And this one's a little bit more, 180 points. And he's got a movement of four, can take a little bit extra damage, 18. Not so tough because he hasn't got a shield, but still tough at five. He's got his axe, so range of one, four attacks, strength five, dealing two to five damage, five on a crit. So for an extra 10 points, you're getting more damage, a little bit less toughness, but stronger and dealing out some more pain there. So I think for an extra 10 points, that's well worth it. And then let's look at the ability next. So he's going to get, like all the other Warband members, imbued with Dark Power on a double. And then on a quad, he can lead the slaughter. A fighter can use this ability only if an enemy fighter has been taken down by an attack action made by them this activation. Until the end of the battle round, add half the value of this ability, rounding up, to the attack's characteristic of attack actions made by visible friendly fighters while they are within six inches of this fighter. So as long as he takes down someone with an attack action in his activation, he can then, with, within any fights you can see within six inches of him, they're going to uh, benefit from an extra characteristic there. And quite a lot, actually. So that's, um, that's pretty good. And comparing that to the 170.1, you're getting quite a lot there. So that's really interesting, really good one. And I just want to check this is a Chaos Warrior because I'm thinking it could be. It looks more like the Chaos Chosen. I think that's the Chaos Chosen. 
I, I would say it's a Chaos Chosen. So there we go. That's that one. Now I thought this was a Chaos Warrior 2, but let's have a look. Yeah, this one is, this is a Chaos Warrior and it looks like a leader. So this one's 220 points. It's got the um, room mark there for the leader ability. He can got a movement of four, can take a lot of damage, 25, and he's pretty tough at five. Uh, it's got the sword and the hammer there. So a range of one, can do five attacks, which is awesome. Strength four, and he'll do two to five damage, five on a crit. So this guy's really tough can take some hits he's tough he's got five attacks and can deal a lot of damage so that's really cool but let's see what that leadership ability is and so again he's going to come with the imbued with power dark power on a double and champion of darkness on a triple and with this one a fighter could use this ability only if an enemy fighter has been taken down by an attack action made by them this activation this fighter makes a bonus move action then they can make a bonus attack action. So there we go. So that's a good, a good ability there. And if he's taking the enemy fires down, he can move and attack again. So pretty formidable. And another great, great character there. So that's our leader for the Chaos Warriors. Right, so now we've got another one of the Chaos Marauder Horsemen. And I guess this would be a leader if you wanted to pit like a, a cavalry or even just have him mounted with the marauders around him unmounted. I think it would be quite cool. But let's see his um, abilities here. So we've got the leader ability and he's mounted so he can't climb. And 225 points with a movement 10. He's got 30 damage that he can take with a toughness of 4. With the axe, he's got a range of 1 can make three attacks with a strength four dealing two to five damage five on a crit so if i compared him to the last one i think i would go with this one um but depends how you want to play it and and kind of what you like but he's got the extra movement so if you want to play more of a fast game with more of a cavalry presence then this would be the one to go for and ability wise as we've seen with the previous uh, fighter double imbued with dark power and on a triple the champion of darkness so there we go so that's our final chaos marauder horseman and for our final fighter we've got a chaos chosen who's a leader and this is 250 points so this is our highest points fighter who's got a movement of four can take 28 damage and is pretty tough with five. It's got the two abilities that we'll take a look at in a minute. And with his axe, he's got a range of one, can deal five attacks of so five dice, strength five, dealing three to five, five on a crit. So this guy really strong, really tough, lots of attacks. And with these abilities, the double imbued with dark power, the triple champion of darkness and the quad lead to slaughter, He's going to be someone you want to get in amongst it, dealing those attacks, coming back with bonus moves and bonus attack actions, and then empowering all the other fighters around him to get stuck in and give them some extra attack characteristics. So that's a really cool, cool fighter and a, a nice miniature too. It's all up, another great um, card pack. So this was uh, six pounds the RP. I paid five pounds 10, and I'll put a link in the description to Element Games below where you can pick that up. All my links are affiliate links, and they don't cost you anything, but in fact, it saves you up to 20% on the RRP. And for everything bought through that link, I get a small commission that helps me to develop the channel, and I really appreciate your support. And so for us, we, were, we really wanted to see more of the characters we got in the Slaves to Darkness starter set. And here's the Chaos Lord on the Karkadrak, which is an incredible miniature. We love this so much. Can't wait to paint him up. Um, so we'd have to substitute one of the cards if we wanted to use this. And then we've also got the mounted Chaos Knight, which is just great. And on foot as well. 
So we could certainly use these cards here if we had to, but hopefully there'll be some more cards coming out in the future where we could use these specific models because they are so cool. But great, so that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like the video, subscribe for more Warcry content like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.